Good morning, folks. As I say this, I am watching this occur. Let's hope it goes well today. You guys have to admit it, this is what the 20th article from the U.S. science media that could be Nibiru spun very easily. Tenacious, aren't they? Jurassic Park, anyone? Birds are dinosaurs. This is very convincing, actually. This is a good article about New Star, NASA's newest X-ray eyes. I wonder if these discussions here are about stopping it or where to frack next. New Mexico is battling the largest wildfire in its history, and this kind of took me by surprise. Northern faults are somewhat ignored, and I suppose they shouldn't be. This is not a joke. A meteor shower destroyed multiple homes and left an Indian village about as scared as they could be. Surprising measles outbreak among infants in New South Wales. We had a large tremor hit Kazakhstan yesterday. There was a landslide in Chile, a moderate tremor far enough offshore Mexico to say watch the Pacific Ridge, but also watch volcanoes. These three volcanoes are on watch in Costa Rica, but the Nevado del Ruiz volcano in Colombia is probably the more serious concern. Already puffing ash and she is no rookie. If we can remember this from three days ago, a CME ripped off the southern solar disk and is likely hitting us right now. You can see the orange, that's the solar wind density. It's going up slightly at the end. This is in progress, folks, so in the next few hours, watch the KP index, watch Ovation Prime, watch the magnetometers. Well, here she is, folks, in beautiful 211 angstroms with pink false color. Doesn't look like a pyramid, but this coronal hole is huge. We are just now fully visualizing it on the SDO. She will be pointed at us this weekend. Below it, we have a plasma filament that will not hold on this pass. It's coming off soon. And behind the coronal hole is a very serious active region. Flares should become a concern again today or tomorrow. Sky watchers, the moon dances with Saturn tonight. Mars is still easily visible over there as well. If you could see what the sun blocks out, Venus and Mercury can join tomorrow. As Venus creeps in, the June 4th full moon is actually a lunar eclipse. One day later, Venus transits the sun, and I'm sorry, but a bit of bad news. Looking at this now, Venus will probably not transit this coronal hole during center disk position. It's going to be about a day late and happen as the hole turns away. That's the news, folks. should still be beautiful. Be safe.